Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Kevin Prince Boateng. The Ghanaian player has promised to help the families of the kids that died in that accident in Offenso on their way to register um, their juvenile league and uh, the update came in on joy sports who had an interview gary al smith of joy sports had an interview uh, with kevin prince Boateng. he said he had heard about the incident on the internet he googled it to confirm it and he found out that it was true he wanted to find out how he could help uh, the family of uh, the De deceased children and now the update on the offensive accident is that four of the juvenile players who died have been buried all those who were hospitalized have now been discharged mass burial is being prepared for the other four victims and the government has pledged to take the cost of the burial for that kevin prince watching however has offered himself to be of help and assistance we'll have a listen to him in that interview with gary al smith of Choice sports and we, we really like to thank Kevin Prince Boateng for lending out a support for these uh, victims the families of these kids that have died eight kids died in total and six died on the spot according to reports and two died as they were being transferred to the hospital it was such a gory and sad incident that occurred there so We'll have a listen to him. Also, we will listen to Adam Kwarase. He featured for Ghana in the 2014 World Cup. And after the first game against the United States of America, he was no longer used by coach um, Kwesiapia. And now we have been talking, especially I have been talking extensively about players like Tariq Lamdi and Eddie Nketia joining the Black Stars. Now, from this former player of the Ghana Black Stars, he was not born in Ghana, but he joined Ghana. He decided to join Ghana after staying outside the country for a while. And now he said the major problem he had was a problem with integration. For some reason, he never felt he was a part of the team. He felt like an outsider. But listen to what he had to say when he spoke to City TV, City Sports and what is the way forward in addressing situations like this because undeniably this is what most of the players who never stayed in ghana and are going to play for the ghana black stars will go through subscribe if you haven't so click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know what happened uh, last two sundays when the children who were on their way at the under 15 juvenile team who were on their way to register their teams were gory accidents that claimed eight lives in the end and uh, there were quite a number of children in that bus all between the ages of 12 and 15 years it was quite sad news to hear i broke it here on the channel and many of you were really sad by that and owing to that Ghanaian player former Ghanaian player ghana black stars player kevin prince boating you know kevin prince boating if you're not aware has played for the black stars before he's a german born Ghanaian. he recently made a move to monza i brought you the update yesterday made a move to monza in the italian Serie b where he was reunited with Bellasconi. now in this interview here with gary al smith of joy sports kevin prince Boateng has offered uh, to help uh, the kids the family of the kids that lost their life eight children uh, four have been buried and uh, mass burial is being organized for the other four and um, all the kids that were um, hospitalized have now been discharged and now it looks like it's time for the other four to be buried government has decided to take up the expenses of the funerals uh, that will be taking place but kevin prince Boateng in this interview here has said that he is ready uh, to support the family in whatever way possible now he heard of the news on social media and looked to confirm it was true he has a contact in kumase who confirmed the story for him and he reached out to gary Alsmith. let's go have a listen to kevin prince party yes uh, i heard about it um makes it made me really really sad to be honest i heard it on um, social media then i called a friend of mine to ask him if it was really true and what happened and he told me about it and I feel really sad about it because uh, I have kids of my own, I have two kids, one who's 12, one who's six. So I think it's like a big tragedy and um, yeah, it, it hit me hard, you know. I, I heard, like I saw it on social media and then yeah. I went on the news, I googled it, googled it to, to wanted to see and know more about it. Uh, but every more details you know about it makes you feel more sad, you know. 
So that's why I'm here and I want to talk to you guys and I wanted to let you know that I want to help. Anything what is necessary, I would like to help. I want to get into touch, in touch with the families. Um, I want to give them the necessity to, to, to feel free to, to... I know it's hard and I can't even imagine how hard it is for like, uh, parents to bury their kids, you know, but I just want to help them to, to free their mind on all, all of that, to just enjoy the life they had with the kids and um, don't think about anything else, you know. I want to help yeah, them to, yeah. to free, the, free their mind on, on burying the kids or, or celebration or whatever they want to do. I want to be here to help. My condolence to all the families who, uh, who've lost their children and happy for the other kids who made it out safe and who can be safe home from the hospital. And um, yeah, we keep in touch and please let me know what I can do and I'll be ready to help. So you had Kevin Prince Boateng there offering to help uh, the kids, the family of the kids that have been through this ter horrific ordeal. Being a parent himself, he looks uh, to sort of assuage uh, the, the worries or the fears of the, the family. He knows how it must be for the family to be going through this. Not that he has lost a kid before, but it is something that anyone can sympathize with and we are really happy that Kevin Prince Watting is reaching out and looking to support the families of these children. It hasn't been an easy time for them going through this. It has not been easy. Uh, losing a child is not easy at all and not for anyone. Even losing someone close to you is not easy at all and uh, we, we, we wish them strength in these times. We are thankful for the lives of those who have been discharged from the hospital it's a sad time and probably some of them might not be able to play football ever again it's quite sad that that had to happen but they are all okay now except for the eight that passed away and a big thank you to Ghanaian player Kevin Prince Watting for his support that he's lending out to the families of these victims let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this amazing thing that Kevin Prince Watting is looking to do for the families uh, my next story has to do with a former ghana black stars player um, adam kwarase now yesterday i brought you that update in which adam kwarase squashed all those rumors that he was unhappy about uh, playing ever playing for the black stars and he says he was an it was an honor for him to play for ghana and he would be open to the idea again now adam kwarase is back here and he is talking about his time with the black stars once again not because he hated it or not because he would never play for Ghana again or because it was a horrific time but he always felt like an outsider when he was with the Ghana Black Stars. Now this is something that players who are born outside will go through when they come or when we call them up to play for the Ghana Black Stars. Now we all know many people are calling for players like Tariq Lamte, for Eddie Nketiah, um, first it was Callum Hassan Odoi and so many other players who were born outside but of Ghanaian origin to come and play for the Ghana Black Stars. Now one problem Adam Kwarase had which I feel a lot of them will go through is the problem of feeling like an outsider. He said he just didn't feel like a real Ghanaian. He felt like an outsider. Now this is what he said in an exclusive interview with City FM. Now Kwarase said uh, the language played no part in his struggles with the national team. Instead, he said he had questions about whether the rest of the teammates considered him a real Ghanaian. This is what he said. He said, no, not really. The only thing I wish I understood more of was maybe the practical jokes and funny stories. But everybody spoke English and communication was possible. So no, not really the language. It's strange, uh, but I feel strong ties to Ghana. And I would say almost more than I feel to Norway, where I grew up and was born. I'm so proud of being, being part Ghanaian uh, that I just loved being in an environment with people that many will call me real Ghanaians in a way. I kind of felt jealous of them. Uh, Ghana head coach CK Akono though, through the Ghana Football Association has recently started an ambitious campaign uh, to get Ghanaian players abroad to play uh, for uh, the national team. Now Prince Boateng, another Ghanaian born player abroad. Ghanaian parents was sacked from the national team following clashes with head coach Chrissy Apia, a situation attributed to a cultural misunderstanding. He played 15 times for the national teams. Now question remains, however, 
or based on the experience of players like Karasi and Boateng on whether Ghanaian players born abroad will feel 100% Ghanaian while representing the country and whether that could potentially affect their output. Karasi had questions about his identity every time he played for the national team. This is what he said. It might sound strange, but I just wanted to be considered a real Ghanaian. It's difficult to explain, but when you are considered a real Ghanaian, when you are born in Ghana, when you have two Ghanaian parents, when you speak the language. And also, I had some players that I clicked with really well with and some that took really good care of me and made me feel at home. Jordan Ayu has a clean heart and was just genuine and friendly. I really appreciate him. I will also say Sule Muntari took good care of me when I was introduced to the team. He never made me feel different or anyway or anything. Top guy. There were a lot of good guys when I first came in. But if I have to mention names, it will be the two of them. So Adam Korazi said um, <laughs> he never really felt like he they considered him as a true Ghanaian, as a real Ghanaian. And this is something that everyone who has grown up elsewhere about itself with different origin will go through and i think this is one thing the fa has to address how to integrate them into the culture of ghana how to get them to understand how ghanaians uh, their jargons and all. it's it's not going to be a smooth ride it's not going to be easy uh, but this is one thing that needs addressing this is one thing that someone who has been in that situation is talking about and i don't think it can be looked for all the talks that we want for them to come because they are doing well, this is one thing that we need to address. Uh, Kwarase never felt like he belonged. And if you don't feel like you belong, you might not be at your optimum best. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this. So that has been it for today. Kevin Prince Boateng, thank you. He is giving support to the families of the children that died in that offensive accident. And Adam Kwarase, telling us about how he didn't feel ever like a real Ghanaian uh, when he was playing for the Black Star. Something and that needs addressing. Your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.